One last bit to learn before you can play the whole riff. So far we've learned and now to complete it we just need that fast bit at the end which leads us back to the beginning. Now this bit is pretty tricky uh, partially because it uses this finger which is a weak finger and that will probably feel quite unnatural and secondly this bit goes twice as fast as the rest of the riff. So the rest of the riff is going at this speed, but then those three notes are going faster. So I want you to practice those three notes by themselves first before putting them in context of the rest of the riff, uh, which relates to what I was saying earlier about practicing. Always practice the hardest bits by themselves rather than just playing something straight through. So take your right hand second finger, so we don't need to call this the index finger anymore, and put it on the note just to the right of the middle of the group of three black notes. So your second finger is going on the white note just to the right of the middle of the group of three black notes. That's your starting note. And don't hit it at the edge of the key. Hit it a little bit forward so it's roughly at the level of the black notes. And then you go up to your third finger on the black note just above. And then your fourth finger on the white note just above that. So you're playing three consecutive notes with fingers two, three, and four. And you're going white, black, white. Now, uh, this is gonna need to be quite fast, but don't try to play it fast to begin with. Just try to play it accurately and evenly to start with. So uh, try and make it even in two different ways. First of all, try to make it even in terms of loudness so that you're not accidentally hitting one note harder than the others. They should be nice and even. And also try to make it even rhythmically. So instead of going like that, where maybe two of the notes are closer together than the other two, try to play them one after the other nice and evenly. Do that over and over again, just keeping it nice and slow and accurate. Once you've done it, maybe I don't know, maybe 30 times, it's gonna vary from person to person. You should find it beginning to feel quite natural. And when you can play it at this kind of speed, and get it right every time, then you're ready to put it in context with the rest of the riff.